Hello and welcome friends. I hope everybody's having a great day. If you are new here, welcome. And I hope you'll uh, stick around and consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you're back watching another one of my videos, thank you for all of your continuing support. It is immensely uh, appreciated. I really, really appreciate the support as I'm trying to grow my channel to 100 subscribers. So sticking around, hitting that subscribe button, doing all the YouTube-y things like liking the videos and commenting on them lets me know that you enjoy the content that I am providing. If you have any suggestions, feel free to let me know. If there's some sort of video you'd like to see, also let me know that and I will uh, definitely take it into consideration and see what I can do about that. Today here we have another unboxing from my stash, Diamond Art Club of course, um, as that is pretty much what my stash consists of at the moment. Um, but this piece is by one of my favorite artists and also one of my favorite subjects. This one is um, Fairy Lights by Ivy Dollamore. So, Ivy Dollamore, one of my favorite artists. Fairies, one of my favorite subjects. And this piece, I originally liked the artwork and I put it on my wish list. Um, she is a square shape and 22 inches by 28 inches or 56 centimeters by 71 centimeters. Um, she was originally on my wish list and then I saw a completed photo of the canvas which just made me fall in love with it even more and it quickly moved up my list to just a want to a must have. So here we are, we're going to break into this kit, check out this canvas, all of that good stuff. Um, as you know, small sticker has the art name, who it's like, who the artist is, the little thumbnail picture, the diamond shape and canvas size. Uh, great for um, organizing, putting in a logbook, whatever, and however you go about this process, that sticker's there for you to use as you see fit. And so let's break into this here kit. Is, oh my goodness, all over the place. All right, so we've got your baggies that you can either kit up, kit down, once again, whatever your process is, those are available. If you multi-place, it comes with the four and seven multi-placer. All oh, my stabby stabs here are losing their cover. Um, because it is a square kit, it comes with the Diamond Art branded tweezers. Mm -hmm. um, here is my gorgeous, gorgeous cover minder, um, which is the purple butterfly. I have the pink one of this as well. I just have to glue the magnet on it because the magnet was attached to the tweezers. Um, but there she is, very gorgeous. And then I have this stunning green kind of turquoise teal um, pen with squishy. And then, of course, your wax, two of them in the heart caddy. And then, of course, don't forget, before you use it, to peel back that um, plastic covering that's on it. And then this one came with their clear tr glitter tray um, and little stopper. And then the washi, which is a very cute, oh, kind of colorful little mosaic um, bit. Very, very cute. I will, of course, put all of that off to the side to get it out of the way. Let me get us a better look at this here canvas and the drills. Which we 
you will automatically come with the thank you brochure, which has the thank you message, all of that good information inside on what's included, tips, tricks, discount codes, uh, QR codes for a step-by-step -step instruction video, as well as written step-by-step -step instructions, a QR code to the Facebook VIP group, which if you have bought Diamond Art Club and aren't a part of, I highly recommend joining. It keeps you up to date not only with Diamond Art Club um, new releases and what's going on, but it's great. It's a great community of diamond painters who enjoy this particular company and they share their Diamond Art Club canvas finishes and stuff like that. So if there's a kit that you're kind of been eyeing, not sure about, as long as it's not a mystery kit, you can um, generally get to see a picture of it at some point and help make up your mind. And then of course you have your larger sticker, once again with your um, artwork name, uh, artist, you can put your start and end date on it, your larger thumbnail, which there you go, you can get a better idea of the stunning gorgeous fairy just sitting with her legs in the river, enjoying the forest that surrounds her. It gives you the diamond squares, diamond squares, the diamond shape, sorry, it is a square, <laughs> um, size. Uh, with Diamond Art Club, you get all of their kidding up stickers right here, which is great. Um, this particular one has 60 colors, and as we know, with Diamond Art Club, anything above 150 is usually considered an AB, which that just means Aurora Borealis. It's an iridescent coating over the drills that helps them shine a little bit brighter. Uh, shimmers usually used kind of to highlight and accent certain areas, often used in light sources sometimes too. Um, they just really add to the canvas and look stunning. So this one has four of those in there and it looks like we've got kind of your white, a blue, a purple, and a green. So that right there kind of gives me an idea of maybe where to find them just because I've been, I work with this, um, these canvases quite a bit but usually Diamond Art Club is very good about having them all over. Um, these drills come like this. If you store your drills separately, they do have the um, name of the art on it, which is always nice. Um, let's take a look at these drills. We have our 939. There's two bags of that, two bags of 310, a 799, and a 775. And then we've got your 742, 3340, a 3042, an 894. 550, 374, 3, an 892, a 666, an 890, a 316, a 3608, a 3607, a 3726, which this is one of the ABs, the purple. Uh, if you can see the iridescent coating on top, you're absolutely gorgeous. It's like a lilac almost. A 3846, a 948, 434, a 318, 138, which is your blue AB, which there is once again your iridescent coating. A 3814. We've got your 435, 3843, a 414, 3855, here's a 100, which is your green, and once again I'll lift it up and you can see that stunning uh, iridescent coating on it, 936, which I can see um, some interlopers happening in there, 
but an 823, a 415, a 762, a 993, a 3746, a 646, 3830, 30, 7872, a 317, 3817, a 141, which is your white AB. And there's that stunning iridescent coating on it. And then a 754, 803, and a 433. And then we've got your 3371, which you got two bags of that. A 992, a 3325, a 3860, a 937, got two bags of that. A 3799, a 758, 935, which you got two bags of that. A 3778. 934, you have two bags of that, a 312, a 938, a 470, a th 356, a 322, and a 991. Lots of gorgeous, bright, stunning colors in this one. And we'll take a look here now at our drill. Our um, canvas, which because it's poured blue, I can roll it backwards. Um, that'll just help it um, flatten a little quicker for us here so we can take a better look at it. Um, don't ever do this with the double sided adhesive, though, it's only meant to do with the uh, poured glue. Um, so, we'll do a little quick tour of the canvas. The logo, do what makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. You'll have your schematics on the upper left and lower right of the canvas. You'll have all your licensing information with the thumbnail, um, artwork, who it's by, the size of the canvas, all that good stuff in your lower left. Your middle gives you a discount code and all of Diamond Art Club's socials. And then of course in the lower right, they have their lifetime warranty. So if you ever need more drills, which mine apparently are popping the bag open right now, <laughs> um, or if there's any issues with the canvas, you can contact them and let them know and they'll make it right for you. So here she is, fairy lights, sitting in her forest, um, with her legs dangling in the water. Absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and then as you know there is the four um, ABs number one being the green one which already I can tell it's in some of the um, grass and greenery here kind of highlighted um, oh I went crazy there kind of highlighted in there 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 there's a little bit kind of coming up into her hair a bit um, so you really see it kind of with some of this greenery at the bottom. And then your second one, of course, is that purple, which I'm going to guess that being A little bit more difficult apparently for me to find right now, or is that more of a gray? That might be more of a gray. Which still isn't helping me. <laughs> oh, here we go. There's a little bit kind of in her hair there, which I just saw. Number two's there. Uh, yes, and then there's a little bit. Um, right here, kind of at the tips of her wings, a little bit there in the tips of the wings. So that kind of adds a little bit there. And then your blue, which ABs, which are your number three, are going to be seen 
um, little highlights in her dress here. A little bit down in there, a little bit there. Um, I'm gonna guess there's, yeah, there's some more in her wings. Kind of along those edges again. And then your fourth one, which is the white, is little um, like fairy dusts and speckles kind of scattered in the forest there, a little bit there, some there, a little bit on her here and there, a little bit in her hair, some there as well, some down, in, down here in the... Um, greenery where there's some flowers so really they're kind of sprinkled on this canvas uh, and then more concentrated a little bit on her wings and a little bit kind of in her hair so where you would kind of have that um, fairy dust kind of thing and then it's used a little bit on her dress to kind of highlight some of that folds and give the um, dress a little bit of depth um, so I think that'll end up just being very, very beautiful. To me, this piece, not only is it a fairy, but it was very whimsical. It had a really nice kind of calm, almost just sitting there enjoying themselves, um, really. Enjoying the moment and where they are in nature, which... Really just to have that moment to stop and do something like that in a very busy world. It just, it's, it's a nice little piece. Um, I love the colors in it. Um, a lot of them are very bright and fun as well. Um, so I'm super excited to get this one, of course, up and going at some point. But yeah, here she is. Fairy lights. Um, do you like working on fairies? I've always, always loved them. I have, I painted a fairy to put in my garden. I've made myself a little fairy house that I have out in my garden. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely a fairy lover. <laughs> um, I just think they're very whimsical and gorgeous and beautiful and the kind of, yeah, that's really all I can say about fairies. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, but here this canvas is. I hope you enjoyed, um, my sharing of it and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.